Hi, I'm Samuel from Global Barcoding Technology, Sundaran Berhad. If you are interested in knowing more about our company, you can visit our official website and our Facebook page. For further inquiries, you can directly email our marketing manager, Ms. Steph. In this video, I want to share the SQL accounting tutorial. For today's lesson, I am going to show you the supplier module and today we're going to discuss about the supplier payment. Whether you want to make a payment to a supplier or non-trade supplier, you have to start off by clicking the payment icon. So now you can see the previous payment vouchers here. So look into another previous voucher. You can just click in by typing the voucher code here. Or if, you c if you can't remember the code number, you can search in using the supplier name. If you want to look into other criteria, right click on any of the column titles, choose the field chooser and drag in the field that you want to choose to search for. For now, let's start with a new one. Then click in the supplier code. I'm going to choose Cellcom. And if you can't find or you can't remember the full name of the company, you can just use this A and click part of the company's name. So if you just remember communication, you can just type C O M M and you can choose Cellcom from here. Alright, now you can see all the outstanding invoices here displayed. This is inclusive of the debit note as well. Okay, now choose if you want to pay by bank or cash. I'm just going to leave it as me bank. Alright, and now the check number. Alright, so that's the check number. And now key in the payment amount. Alright, so now there's the payment amount. Next, choose in to knock off the invoice. Okay, you can choose this invoice to complete. There's no outstanding, or you can do it partially. Maybe a three hundred here and a balance to another invoice. Okay, now click save, and you're done. Now choose the preview button up here. You can choose any of the format. I'm going to choose the last one, and. This is how the payment voucher looks like. So there you can see the payment voucher and you can see that you have paid into two, uh, two invoices. So you can also export this into PDF file and if you want you can print it. So this is how you do it you can also use for your other creditors now remember tnb the one you maintain under other creditors okay now let's see how you do it click new and now in the supplier code click in tenaga national so there is it and now you can see your outstanding amount here so once you see the outstanding bill you can now make your payments accordingly. This is how you maintain your supplier payment. So basically, this is how you use the uh, supplier payment. That's all for today. I'm Samuel from Global Barcoding Technologies, Sundarian